Hey there. Welcome to the Flute 360 podcast. I'm Dr. Heidi K. Begay, and I'm a flutist, educator, coach, and podcaster. My God given mission is to serve you. I am passionate about guiding you, the modern day flutist, to discover your unique voice on and off the stage. The goal of this podcast is to help you thrive both as an artist and as a musicpreneur. Go ahead and grab some espresso, your favorite notepad, and let's get to it. Today's episode 278 is titled A Sneak Peek into Flute 360's Five Day Challenge, Part 5. Founded in Dallas, Texas in 1996, the Carolyn Nesbaugh Music Company is renowned for its international service for flutists of all levels. The Carolyn Nesbaugh Music Company is your premier resource for everything flute. Their selection of flutes, piccolos, low flutes, and head joints from dozens of makers is truly remarkable. Also, their offerings of sheet music, instrumental accessories, teaching and health resources are unmatched. Their in-house staff offers an unparalleled level of expert knowledge and personal service with an in-house repair staff certified in all major brands. Follow the Carolyn Nesbaugh Music Company through Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter to be updated with the latest news. Check out their website at flute4u.com. The Carolyn Nesbaugh Music Company is truly your one-stop flute shop. Hey there, Flute 360 dear. Do I have a special treat for you? Not quite sure if you know this, but at the beginning of December 2023, I hosted a phenomenal five-day Flute 360 challenge. I put this together for you. I know that you want to thrive on and off your musical stage. You want to say goodbye to performance anxiety and hello to self-assurance. I want to see you kill it in 2024 and beyond on the stage for your auditions, recitals, and juries, and off the stage through networking events, building out your career, and more. So what I did was I put together some gems and valuable content for y'all in this five-day challenge. Now, I am taking out some of those gems, just 10-minute highlights, and throwing them into a five-part podcast series. So in this five-day challenge, we met every evening in the beginning of December of 2023, and not only do we meet in group settings, but also through more intimate settings like the VIP session. So I share this with you because I wanted you to know in context where this material is coming from. So over the course of the next two and a half weeks, you will see 10-minute sneak peeks into these Facebook Lives. So my invitation from me to you is if you want to continue this transformation and continue to understand more about my Flute 360 storytelling method, I highly encourage you to click the link below to access the Flute 360 Launchpad. If you go to www.flute360.com slash launchpad or click the link below, you will have access to the entire five-day challenge and its videos. So I don't want you to miss out. This opportunity is only available from now until December 31st, 2023. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy. I cannot believe it's day five. This week went by super, super fast, which is amazing. That's how you know you're having a good time. Here's our snapshot of what we've done throughout the week. And since I'm here and since I'm thinking of it, I would be remiss not to mention this. So if you've already seen your transformation to some degree throughout the week, bravo. That is wonderful. Fantastic. But keep at it. What sort of playing or speaking transformations are you going to see in the next 10 days, 20 days, 30 days, 50, 60 days, right? 
So this is just the tip of the iceberg. The more you keep showing up for yourself in this way and you keep practicing this method, I'm telling you, you're going to discover new things about yourself, new things about your playing. And then again, not to sound like a broken record, but it's so true. The ripple effects into like your immediate orbit and then into your extended orbit into like the local and national, international possibilities for you are tenfold. I have seen it for myself. I have seen it for my clients time and time again. So the opportunities, for example, speaking of my transformation through the actual Food to 360 podcast, the transformations I saw in the early days as being a podcaster, they were evident. But the more I showed up to record my story more, the more I showed up through social media and meeting my Food 360 years at festivals and conferences, the more my orbit got filled with such passionate, talented, wonderful, intelligent people. And because of that, we're going to talk about this today, but because of that, then the doors were beginning to open. We were building doors for each other. And there's nothing more empowering than that. So in the early stages, I saw doors and windows crack and start to open, which was really exciting. But the more I recorded, the more I shared, the more I was coming from this vulnerable place and opening up to people, both on and off the stage, the musical opportunities, the creative opportunities, the financial opportunities just kept coming. So my encouragement from me to you today is if there's nothing else that you take home tonight, it's this, and it should be this. This is a good should. Continue this process, continue this method, because you will be blown away by how many more lessons you are going to learn about yourself, learn about your friends and colleagues in deeper, more meaningful ways as you continue to show up in this way. And here's our reminder slide again of your voice, okay? And I think I've really driven this nugget home pretty well throughout the week because when I've been in conversations with y'all in the VIP session, in DMs, in email messages, in the chat, you guys are literally coming to this time and time again. And so like the premise of the entire challenge, you are articulating so well. We are working on you. We're doing that deep inner work. And this is something I may or may not have mentioned earlier, and that is hats off to you for being willing to do the deep inner work. A lot of times, and I'm included in this from time to time, sometimes that deep inner work means, and that indicates to me and to my conscious, like, all right, it could be scary. I don't know what's going to happen. And sometimes we avoid that work, right? Because we know it's going to be detailed. We know that we are going to be pushing the envelope in terms of what we want out of life. But if you're willing to look inward, be meditative, reflect, and then take action, oh my goodness, like how brave and courageous, one, are you to do that? And then two, again, not only will your life be beneficial and have the blessings, but the relationships in your world, the people in your world that you care about, they will be impacted too in a very wonderful way. Cool. So let me go ahead and look through some of these awesome comments. I definitely need to go back and listen to the five days now that I have the big picture. Yes. Thank you, Kathy. That is a very good point. Now that you've been coming up, showing up every 24 hours, right, and gaining new content, it would be really cool to kind of take 10 steps back, go, okay, I have the big picture. I know what's going on. Go back to day one, go through it again, and you may hear or you may notice something that perhaps you uh, missed the first time. I know I do that. <laughs> so when I record a podcast episode with a guest, right, I'm sitting there and I'm very present. I'm listening. I really am. But then when I play it back after my husband edits the show, I am sitting there in listener mode and taking show notes for my website, for the Apple podcast app. 
and I'm taking down timestamps. Now I have an intern and Natalie has been helping me out so much and I'm so appreciative of her help. But before I was doing timestamps and summaries and links. And so I had my earbuds in listening to that content again. And I would pause and go, wait a second, was I actually there? <laughs> and I was, you can see me on screen, but sometimes my guests will drop so many nuggets down that I can only absorb so much. So Kathy brings up a good point. If you want to go back and kind of absorb or reabsorb this information in different ways, because you're going to have different listening ears on, feel free. Now, just friendly reminder, those replays are available until Sunday morning. Awesome. And last recap, I've been doing a lot of recaps here, but I think it's so important. Um, very, very briefly, because I do want to get into some nuggets today about community. Know who you are at your root. What are those three to six defining origin root characteristics? And if you are meeting somebody for the first time, if you are at a networking event, for example, any small business, um, not administrative, but association, there's the word SBA, small business association event, you're meeting new people for the very first time, other CEOs in the neighborhood, and you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't even know how to approach this stranger. Start off with simple things. What is a part of your origin roots? Well, geography, where you're from, is a great way to lead a conversation. And then from there, listen. Be a really good listener. And then notice the nuggets that he or she is dropping in the conversation. And then take that initiative to go, ooh, that's interesting. His brother lives in Portland, Oregon. I have an uncle in Portland, Oregon. And you can say that, and then the conversation will keep to unfold. And we're going to talk about that here in a little bit, but you can pull elements from your roots, from your origins, and thread it into your story at a and through a case-by-case -case scenario. I have done that a million times when I found myself to be at a loss for words, okay? And then... That was your spoken voice. And then those doors will open. Those relationships will unfold. And then if you're stuck in a musical score, right? And you're, lo you're looking at the notes on the page and you're just like, I can't get connected to this score. I can't get connected to these notes. Well, if you weave your story through the score, it's going to be easier because now you're connected to the story. The story is now intertwined through the musical notation through the score. And then as you bring it to life and pull it off the page, now you are more connected to those notes, to those melodies, to those harmonies. And then guess what? In both scenarios, spoken and flute, your audience member, your listener who is listening to you is going to feel transported. They are going to feel at ease. They are going to have so much fun listening to you because you are interacting with them. You are sharing something personal with them. And that's what humans need. We need that interaction. We thrive off of that. And I don't know, and feel free to jot this in the chat feed if you feel so inclined, but tell me if this is true because I think a good, oh, it's hard to put a number to it, but if I had to take a stab at it, I bet there's a good 50 to 60% of my food 360 years at first who feel a little bit more like an introvert and because of this they feel like their only voice is their musical instrument and so sometimes not that it's a bad thing it's just an observation sometimes we as musicians because that is our comfort blanket we tend to hide behind the flute okay and by doing so, I think we miss out on possible blessings and opportunities because we need to be making music from this vulnerable space through our spoken voice and our flute voice. And I don't want you to, I don't want you to miss out on those opportunities. I want the floodgates to open for you. Thank you so much for listening to this mini sode. Now, I know I just gave you a little glimpse into the world of the five-day challenge. So this storytelling method is explained 
in more depth through these five bonus videos. If you want to have access to these videos and its content, all you have to do is click the link below and that's going to take you to flute360.com slash launchpad. Your future self will thank you. Talk to you soon. Let's talk about flute.